All right, guys, thought I'd show something here for a uh, clock for 55, 56 Chevy. This is just, I've done this a couple of times. Uh, this will be the third. Uh, it's kind of redneck engineering at its finest, if you will. Uh, but anyway, the uh, factory clock. Here's one that's uh, original. I have taken these apart and cleaned them and put them back together, and within a month they don't work, you know. The very first one I did, anyway. It worked for about a month and then quit again. <laughs> so, uh, I know they make a quartz reproduction, and I may actually buy one of those later when the funds become available, if they ever do. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is what a factory one looks like. So this is what I have done to modify it. So I get a clock movement from Hobby Lobby Craft Store. It takes a AA battery. And uh, if you paid attention to my other videos, that bow tie insert right there, you can see the little bow ties on it. That's a piece of old dash trim from a 55 Chevy Bel Air. I have that in the backing of my speedometer and also my heater slide control unit. So now this will be in the clock. So all three pieces match that have backings like this. So anyway, I get the clock movement and usually all these hands, if I remember right, they're gold. So now I've restored all of my uh, gauge assembly, my speedometer assembly, and I use this orange paint here on the needles. It actually matches the three autometer gauges that I have that are going to be, you know, by themselves in the A-pillar gauge pod. Uh, so anyway, the needle colors match, and it's also a black background. So I got a new clock lens reproduction. This is actually an original knob. I just cleaned it up and polished it. It's hard to focus on that little chrome stuff. And then the, the clock... Uh, bezel and this is actually the backing so what I do if you can see those four square cutouts here this is how I notch that so this actually fits in there like that so anyway what I do is I go back after everything's assembled and I push in with a pair of uh, needle nose and a little flathead screwdriver and I'll fold these tabs in to kind of pinch it together and then I'll put uh, some black RTV silicone uh, to fill up these holes right here just takes a little bit uh, but anyway that keeps the light from going back into the behind it to light up the dash now I've drilled a hole all the way through this uh, clock movement here there's no gears or nothing up in this upper corner uh, so I Drill that all the way through because you got to have a light to light it up. And this is just a, a basic uh, push in uh, bulb assembly from like an aftermarket gauge. Uh, but anyway, it will go in there. It slides in real tight. And uh, so, anyway, that'll illuminate when I turn my dash lights on. So I can show you. You can kind of see how that's going together and that light will light up around that whole thing so I resprayed that green in there and I did the same thing on my speedometer and my heater slide control same color green but anyway all these little parts I pretty much cleaned up and repainted uh, now this is just Krylon spray paint this is a uh, satin black I think uh, but I pretty much had to paint everything because even the little nut and the washer and everything is gold uh, so everything got painted the, the colors it needs to be uh, so anyway, when you put this all together, uh, this goes in just like normal. <clears throat> and then I usually put that in last after this is all assembled and then goes in there and then this will go in from the back. Uh, but anyway, it has, it runs on a double A. And uh, these little movements uh, have always been pretty accurate for me. And they're for people, you know, that make custom clocks out of whatever. Uh, I actually bought a, I think it was a four pack. And it was very inexpensive, like $10 or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but anyway, I have my uh, speaker bezel here that goes on the passenger side of the, the dash. Uh, I had the bezel re-chromed. Uh, now that's a chrome aftermarket Bel Air script. They're supposed to be gold for Bel Air, but I'm not much on the gold. It always seems to tarnish. And uh, if you've noticed, the screen in there is aftermarket. Uh, it is actually a paper organizer from like Office Depot. 
and uh, I basically ground the rivet heads off the back of the original one and removed it and then I drilled it and tapped it and I put in these little beady tiny jeweler screws with washers uh, anyway that's how that's attached it's actually screwed in it's pretty much when you go to Office Depot they've always got stuff like this this is for cards like business cards it's the same basically type of mesh the same as the pencil holder there uh, it, it's actually a paper organizer so I have two more uh, fairly good sized squares uh, about the size of notebook paper I would say uh, and they're going to be my speaker rear speaker 6x9 uh, covers after I build my rear rear deck cover and wrap it the screen will go in from behind and I'll paint it black uh, but anyway I, off track there so anyway, this is like a little model kit now, uh, putting it together, and, and this is pretty cool. Uh, it's very inexpensive. It is very tedious, uh, but I was a jeweler for a few years, and this is kind of like right up my alley. So anyway, I just thought it's kind of neat, thought it was worth a video. Uh, 155 four-door I did back in the late 90s. Uh, I did this. This is actually the first one I did it to. I did the same thing, and I sold the car to the guy, and... Uh, I talked to him like a year later, and he'd actually taken the battery out of the car to put into some truck to get it running or something for the weekend. And he noticed his clock never lost its time, and it was still running. He didn't understand why, because I never told him it took a double A. I'd forgot about it. <laughs> so anyway, I th uh, he thought that was kind of cool. But uh, Anyway, uh, I did have a guy tell me once that, uh, man, I bet that's really hard to change that battery out in there. Well, no, it's not. It's just like changing the bulb in the factory slot where your light goes right there it's not that hard at all you just reach right up in there and pull it out and put a new one in so anyway guys thought it was video worthy just a little model kit project uh, i'm going to assemble this tonight after uh, i'm showered and eat dinner and everything and uh, that'll be my project before i go to bed